The drought in southwestern China has left 24 million people short of clean water and more than 77 billion square meters of land parched. Li Zongwei looks at the situation in some areas. The Longtan hydropower station is the second largest in China. Located in the Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, it provides 10 percent of the power in the area. But it could stop if the drought continues. Last year, the water level was 354 meters. Now it's only 336, 18 meters lower. This level is only 6 meters above the alert level, and the water level keeps dropping at 20 centimeters a day. If this continues, the station will stop producing power in a month. As the drought lowers water levels in Guangxi, it is pushing food prices higher in Yunnan. In this wholesale market in Kunming, Cucumbers sold for 45 yuan a kilogram last year, but now it's 6 or 7 kwai. Rice was around 5 yuan each kilogram. Now we buy it at 6 kwai and sell at 7. The vendor says as prices rise, people are still buying more each time, fearing the increase will continue. China's top drought control officials say the country has distributed 100 million yuan for rescue work in affected areas, and 800 million more is coming. Meteorologists say there will be rain in the area for the next three days, but no more than three millimeters, so it's not likely to stop the drought. The rainy season will arrive in the worst hit areas around May the 20th. Peace on ICS News.